there is a sacredness to this land. This is the Halifax Ranch. It's been in my family since 1933. My granddad, who was born and raised in San Marcos, Texas, bought it. Legend has it it's connected to an old forgotten Texas ghost town of Halifax, Texas that was abandoned around the Civil War, but those are just rumors and possibly a story my grandfather made up. We have neighbors and friends who can trace their property rights back to Spanish land grants before the revolution. And when you talk to Texans, especially Texans out in the country, um, the history of the land, their land, and their rights to it are some of the most important things that identify them, not just as Texans, but as uh, Hill Country residents. My name is Andrew Sansom. Most people call me Andy. I'm a native Texan and I've been involved in conservation in our state for most of my life. The Texas Hill Country is probably one of the most, if not the most, iconic regions in the state. In Texas, 95% of the landscape is owned by private citizens, and that means all of our wildlife habitat, all of our watersheds, and all of our recharge areas for our aquifers occur on private property. Although our rights are individual, it takes a coalition to defend them. TREAD, the Texas Real Estate Advocacy and Defense, is a coalition of concerned citizens formed to defend those property rights. They focus on landowners, property owners, ranchers, farmers, all across the state of Texas. They have been essential in our fight to defend our own property rights here against the Permian Basin Highway. It would threaten the Edwards Aquifer, which provides all of the water for San Antonio, much of the water for New Braunfels and San Marcos. It's not that we're against oil and gas, but we certainly feel that landowner rights and property owner rights should trump those of any private company. The most optimistic thing about this fight is that citizens throughout the region have come together to form this coalition. You can find them at the Capitol advocating for landowner rights. They're visual, they're out there, they're in front of the public, and they're easy to get to know. Get on Facebook and find TREAD. Find the meetings that they're attending, the fundraisers, the events. Talk to some of their other members and some of the uh, board. There is something special about this place and something that needs to be preserved that people of any political allegiance can understand. There's never been a time when the rights of individual property owners in the natural resources of Texas were more threatened by projects like the Permian Highway Pipeline. Please join me and support TREAD so that our children will enjoy the same sorts of experiences that we have known.